please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Teachers, please check to make sure that all students are complying with the dress code. Good morning, PCHS, and welcome back to the Bears and News. I'm Cornell Zacker. And I'm Hayden Fagan. Today is Monday, December 6, 2021. The annual Christmas parade will be this evening in downtown Blackshear. The parade steps off at 6 p.m. The parade will travel through downtown, leaving Emmanuel Baptist Church at the corner of Carter Avenue and Gordon Street. It proceeds south on Main Street to its end at Tiger Field at the Board of Education office. The theme of this year's parade will be toy trains and candy canes. We, we look forward to seeing everyone there. There will be a beta meeting tomorrow morning in the auditorium at 7.40. Beta members, please make plans to attend. The results are in from student council and class officer elections. Senior class president, Willie White. Vice president, Kaylee Crady. Secretary, Natalie Griffin. Treasurer, Haley Studstill. Junior class president, Davis Bird. Vice president, Ellie Maddox. Secretary, Reagan Larson. Treasurer, Lily Stipe. Sophomore class president, Sarah Jane Moore. Vice President, Ava Murray. Secretary and Treasurer, Mara Kate Waters. Freshman Class President, Mary Emma Moore. Vice President, Bella Delaney. Secretary and Treasurer, Jenna Heron. Student Council President, Fisher Cruz. Vice President, Addie Cantrell. Congratulations to y'all. Yearbook pictures for class officers, student council officers, and Mr. and Mrs. Freshman, sophomore, and junior will be taken tomorrow morning. At 8.15, dress as casual, no t-shirts. Meet in the front office in the lobby. The photos for Mr. and Mrs. Senior will be taken, the superlative pictures are taken at a later date. Teachers, remember the biology EOC will be given Thursday during first block in the lunchroom. Please be aware that if you have students who are currently taking biology, they will not be in your first block class on that day. Bears football falls short in its bid for back-to-back -back state title bids. Coming up ever so short, 19 to 17 to Carver of Atlanta. Carver moves on to play for the state title. The Bears, the defending state champs in class AAA, wind up 11 and three on the season. It's an incredible run of four years for the graduating class with a 48 and six record overall. That's the best in school history, 12 and three playoff record. That's the best in school history also. So Bear football comes to an end, but after another triumphant season. Congratulations, Coach Herring and the Bears on another fine campaign. Congrats to the Wrestling Bears for an opening season win over Wayne County. The Bears at point, Jackets 63-18. The wrestling team's home opener is tomorrow at 5 p.m. in duels action against Charlton County and Brantley County. Please come out and support the Wrestling Bears. Bears basketball will have the home opener tomorrow against Berrien County. JV game start at 4.15. Varsity action starts at 6 p.m. with the girls while the boys game will be after. Please show up loud and proud. Now here's Natalie with today's weather forecast. Thanks, Hayden. Today there will be a high of 77, a low of 60, and a 12% chance of rain. Tonight's sunset will be at 5.25 p.m. and tomorrow's sunrise will be at 7.14 a.m. Now, here's Alicia. Thanks, Natalie. Happy birthday today to Hunter Altman, William Mitchu. Wishing each of you the very best. 
Now here's what's cooking in the Bears Cafe for lunch today. In the Kick and Chicken line, chicken filet sandwich, original spicy or buffalo. Bears Den line, cheeseburgers, mac with roll, sides include steamed broccoli with cheese and curly fries. Tomorrow's breakfast includes sausage biscuits or strawberry pot tarts. Today's quote of the day is, one has to take initiative in life to achieve what he or she wants. Donald Jonason. The PBIS word for this month is initiative. Remember to be responsible, respectful, and safe. Thanks and go Bears. I'm Jordan Esco and here's this week's PBIS Strongs for ninth grade. Emily Rigdon. For 10th grade. James Melton. And for 11th grade. Dawson Scurry. And for last, 12th grade. Yulissa Perez. We'll draw more names next week. Remember to be respectful, responsible, and safe. Thanks and go Bears.